So here's the shitty island near Aikanai. And he's Riku Rikudo. And he's apologizing for everything that Kanugi's had to go through. And he's like, ah, whatever, don't worry about it. But uh, Rikudo uh, knows how hard he worked to help Ayato and Magnate 10. And Kanugi's just like, oh, he's just. He's jealous of how little Rikudo uh, cares about matters like the color of one's blood. And how could he possibly learn to be more like this dude and not be a jerk? And Rikudo says, simple, really. And uh, he tells Kanugi to share some food with Ayato. And, uh. Uh, he says that we live in a time where people from other planets have come to our world, so stuff like different blood colour seems trivial, right? And he says, hell, Magnate 10, prove it! Uh, isn't that why Kamugi took the fall to cover for us? And Kamugi says, uh, it will be essential for what lies ahead. And Kamugi won't outright confirm that that's why, but Rikudo is like, yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. And so with that, he, uh, tells uh, Kanugi to join him for a meal. He's got some uh, prime sake and some wakasagi that Shiro uh, gave him after a trip to Lake Ashi. And Kanugi is like, hell yeah, give me that good shit. I can do with a drink. And then at Nerve Headquarters, Asuka is like, oh, jeez, that stupid shithead hasn't recovered from what happened. Ugh, still traumatized and upset about being, like, basically mind-controlled, forced to kill it. Oh, ugh, what a baby back bitch. Is what Asuka says here. And uh, she says he's too much of a weakling. Uh, unlike us two. And today's like, he's, been, he's like, yeah, he's been asleep since it all went down, but considering he's got no injuries, he should wake up pretty soon, right? And Asuka is like, ah, oh, jeez. Shinji had become a lot more positive because of Magnate Ten's influence, but this seems like it might have been too much and just set it all back. And, um,. And he's like, are you worried about him? Just don't be stupid! Why would I worry about an idiot like him? Blech. So he stares and Asuka breaks first. She's like, fine, maybe I'm a little bit worried. I mean, he's a total moron, but he still fights on our side and fought alongside him all this time. And, and this is important though, I'm only a little bit worried. So don't jump to any conclusions. And uh, Asuka's like, anyway, it's weird seeing you worry about other people. And she wonders if uh, Shinji is dreaming right now. And Ray is like, huh? What? Hmm? He's like, what? You've never had a dream before? Yeah, he's like, what? You never had a dream before, huh? Poor Ray. 